Hey everyone, it's Josh here at SCG, and today I'm going to walk you through um, the difference between uh, weight-based and volume-based dosing for espresso. So most, you know, at-home espresso users dose by volume, so they usually aim for right around two ounces, which is great. I brew both ways, especially, you know, when I'm working at the office, it's super easy to just go by sight and dial in by taste, and I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, if you're trying to get a little bit more consistent, uh, we definitely recommend trying uh, weight-based dosing because you can see a really big difference uh, between the two styles. So today we're brewing with Olympia Coffee Roasting's Big Truck Espresso Blend on a Crosland CC1 using a Breville Dose Control Pro Grinder. Uh, the main reason we picked these is to show that you can get really good shots out of you know, more entry-level equipment. Not every video we do has to be about you know, high, high grade prosumer equipment. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, a shot pulled without a scale, and I'm gonna show you the difference in weight between espresso and water uh, by volume. So here I'm just finding uh, my favorite dose for espresso, which is right around 18 grams. Um, and the goal for that is to, you know, make extraction easier to track. So if you're always dosing the same amount, uh, then your output uh, is always going to be the same ratio, which is important, especially as you get finer and finer. I'm going to tear out the shot glass. Let me go here and brew. There you go. Usually right about the same. So as you can see here, the espresso is you know about eight grams lighter than the water at really similar volumes. And the reason for this is entirely due to the CO2 that gets suspended in espresso. Uh, fresh roasted coffee is full of CO2. The fresher the coffee is, the, the more CO2 in each individual bean. So when you force it out at pressure, using an espresso machine, uh, it gets forced into the liquid and dissipates slowly. And that's actually the main reason that you see crema in coffee. Um, and what this does is it lowers the total weight uh, because the gas weighs less than liquid. Most you know, third wave coffee shops and you know, craft baristas recommend weighing your shots and often do in their own cafes to, to really take consistency shot to shot uh, to the next level, especially as beans age and change in profile slightly over time. So now I'm going to pull a shot by weight and show you sort of a really good starting point for testing out your own weight-based or as it's often called gravimetric dosing. Um, so I'm gonna use that simple two to one uh, ratio that is often recommended by baristas. So I'm aiming for 18 grams in and 36 grams out. Um, as you're about to see, it does get a little hard to stop it on a, on a dime, uh, the extraction at the espresso machine. Um, so it'll be close, but it won't be perfect. And that's actually totally normal. Um, this isn't a recipe you need to follow to a T to get good espresso. It's simply a, you know, a guideline that helps you get close um, to dialed in and helps you sort of remember 
your favorite extractions for later. So the next time you get the blend, you know exactly where to target. So I'll lock that in, pull a shot glass, tear it out. And 36 on the dot. That's nice. No, a little over. Whatever. Uh, so, really close. You, you see that good layering of crema? So dark, and you can see it sort of dissipate up the glass uh, into that, that frothy you know, top level. And again, crema is the CO2 escaping from suspension. It's actually really good. Oh, man. Uh, OK, so there you have it, folks. Uh, quick rundown of the differences between site dosing and uh, weight or gravimetric dosing. Again, uh, there's no better way to pull espresso. The whole idea is to just make coffee that you love. Uh, so that's it for me, and I will see you all next time.